Hello viewers, once again, welcome to your very own channel, The Basics of Marketing. As you know, we share on this channel the basic concepts of marketing, like definitions and concepts, etc. So without wasting your time any further, let's start. Today I'll try and explain the concept of market segmentation in details. In my previous video, Regarding the topic of segmentation, I tried to explain that why segmentation is important and how it works. In this short video, I will try to focus on if somebody wants to do the segmentation, how can he or she do it practically? As we know that market segmentation is the process of dividing a broad consumer or business market normally consisting of existing and potential customers into subgroups of consumers based on some type of shared characteristics. Buyers in any market differ in their wants, resources, locations, buying attitudes and buying practices. Through market segmentation, companies divide large heterogeneous markets into smaller segments that can be reached more efficiently and effectively with products and services that match their unique needs. Segmenting Consumer Markets There is no single way to segment a market. A marketer has to try different segmentation variables alone and in combination to find the best way to view market structure. Geographic Segmentation Geographic segmentation calls for dividing the market into different geographical units such as nations, regions, states, counties, cities or even neighborhoods. A company may decide to operate in one or a few geographical areas or operate in all areas but pay attention to geographical differences in needs and wants. Many companies today are localizing their products, advertising, promotion and sales efforts to fit the needs of individual regions, cities and even neighborhoods. Demographic segmentation Demographic segmentation divides the market into segments based on variables such as age, gender, family size, family life cycle, income, occupation, education, religion, race, generation, and nationality. Demographic factors are the most popular basis for segmenting customer groups. One reason is that consumer needs, wants, and usage rates often vary closely with demographic variables. And other reason is that demographic variables are easier to measure than most other types of variables. Even when marketers first define segments using other bases such as benefits sought or behavior, they must know a segment's demographic characteristics to assess the size of the target market and reach it efficiently. Age and life cycle stage Consumer needs and wants change with age. Some companies use age and life cycle segmentation, offering different products or using different marketing approaches for different age and life cycle groups. Gender Gender segmentation has long been used in clothing, cosmetics, and magazines, etc. Income The marketers of products and services such as automobiles, clothing, cosmetics, Financial services and travel have long used income segmentation. Many companies target affluent consumers with luxury goods and convenience services. Psychographic segmentation. Psychographic segmentation divides buyers into different segments based on social class, lifestyle or personality characteristics. People in the same demographic group can have very different psychographic characteristics. Behavioral segmentation. 
Behavioral segmentation divides buyers into segments based on their knowledge, attitudes, uses or responses to a product. Many marketers believe that behavior variables are the best starting point for building market segments. Occasions Buyers can be grouped according to occasions when they get the idea to buy, actually make their purchase or use the purchased item. Occasion segmentation can help firms build up product usage. Benefits sought. A powerful form of segmentation is grouping buyers according to the different benefits they seek from a product. Benefit segmentation requires finding the major benefits people look for in a product class the kinds of people who look for each benefit and the major brands that deliver each benefit. User status. Markets can be segmented into non-users, ex-users, potential users, first-time users and regular users of a product. Marketers want to reinforce and retain regular users, attract targeted non-users and reinvigorate relationships with X users. Usage rate. Markets can also be segmented into light, medium, and heavy product users. Heavy users are often a small percentage of the market, but account for a high percentage of total consumption. Loyalty status. A market can also be segmented by consumer loyalty. Consumers can be loyal to brands. Buyers can be divided into groups according to their degree of loyalty. Using multiple segmentation bases. Marketers rarely limit their segmentation analysis to only one or a few variables. Rather than, they often use multiple segmentation bases in an effort to identify smaller, better defined target groups. Such segmentation provides a powerful tool for marketers of all kinds. It can help companies identify and better understand key customer segments, target them more efficiently, and tailor market offerings and messages to their specific needs. Requirements for effective segmentation. Clearly, there are many ways to segment a market, but not all segmentations are effective. For segmentation to be effective, it should be measurable. The size, purchasing power, and profiles of the segments can be measured. Certain segmentation variables are difficult to measure. Number two is it should be accessible. The market segments can be effectively reached and served. Number three is substantial. The market segments are large or profitable enough to serve. A segment should be the largest possible homogeneous group worth pursuing with a tailored marketing program. It should also be differentiable. The segments are conceptually distinguishable and respond differently to different marketing mix elements and programs. If men and women respond similarly to marketing efforts for soft drinks, they do not constitute separate segments. And last one is actionable. Effective programs can be designed for attracting and serving the segments. So that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you guys in another informative and exciting video soon. Please do not forget to leave your valued comments and suggestions below. Once again, thanks for watching The Basics of Marketing.